Hi, I'm Jim Vosicek from Leading Edge Equipment. Today we're going to jump up in the cab of a signature edition 8RX410 from John Deere. As we do that, one of the first things you'll notice is they've moved the handle. Traditionally, the handle on our John Deere cab has always been towards the middle of the door, which would require you to take the first or second step to open it up. Now we've moved it to the bottom. The other thing you'll notice is the John Deere Signature Edition badging, which means it's got all of the best technology and comfort features from John Deere. So this tractor is equipped with the E23 transmission. With that transmission, we do have an option for a left-hand reverser. So the E23 essentially operates as John Deere power shifts have operated in the past. We've had the power shift transmission around for 50 years. It's nothing new. However, this is equipped with a lot of new technology, which makes it very similar to our IVT transmission, while still gaining all of the efficiency that we like from the power shift. So to start with here, we're just gonna put it in gear with the left-hand reverser model. We flip the reverser ahead. We let the clutch out and we'll start going. So what you'll see on the command arm here is we've got an F1 and an F2, similar to what we're used to seeing in our 9R tractors equipped with the E18 transmission. So I'm gonna throttle up and I'm gonna select F1. As you can see on the corner post, we've got it set. F1 is set at four miles an hour, so the tractor will automatically select the right gear and the right engine RPM to attain four miles an hour. And that will continue to adjust depending on draft load, just as it does on our IVT. Now we can adjust the speed of F1 with our thumb wheel. It'll be in two tenths of a mile increments. The other thing we can do with our E23 transmission, which is similar to IVT, is we can depress both brakes and it does have the auto clutch feature. So if we're filling a grain cart or inching up to something, we can still brake without clutching. And then once we let go of the, the brake, we'll go right back up to our, to our set speed. So with that, we also have F2, similar to the other tractors. So we can toggle between the two. We can set one for headland and one for in the field. So with that, that's a brief overview of E23 and how it performs in an 8RX410 tractor. Since this 8RX410 is equipped with the John Deere Signature Edition cab, it comes with ultimate comfort and convenience package. Two of the things included in that are the new larger cooler that's mounted behind the instructional seat and then this leather trimmed seat that has both heating and air conditioning built right into it as long as a massaging feature. So it's an excellent seat upgrade from what we've had in the past. The other thing you'll notice with the swivel as well, but you look over here, there's foot pegs both along the steering wheel and to the right side of the console. So some very nice comfort add-ins for a long day out in the field. Okay, the next thing we're gonna show, this tractor is equipped with an ultimate visibility package. So in addition to all of the premium 360 degree lighting that's on it for night, it also has an integrated camera in the hood and an integrated camera at the top of the cab to help for backing up to, a, to an implement. So to set up that camera to where it triggers when we put it into reverse automatically, much like a pickup, we're gonna go through the screen to video. You can see we've got the camera, analog one is the back, analog two is the front, just to illustrate that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click this I button and we're gonna edit triggers. So we're gonna click the edit trigger button. We'd like it to have camera one, which is the rear camera, automatically trigger when we put the tractor into reverse to assist in backing up to an implement. So once we select the reverse function, we just need to go in and assign a camera to it. We know we want to assign analog one, since that's the rear camera. We select that and then we select okay. Now we're gonna save that we can go back to our home screen now once we've selected that. And now our home screen is up. So once we put the tractor in reverse, what we're gonna see is automatically it pops up with the rear camera to assist us as we would back up to an implement. So that's a brief overview of how to set up an integrated camera on the new John Deere Signature Edition cab.